Stop playing with God. Stop playing with him. Fear him. What does it mean to fear God? Man, I wish I could preach this. Each one of these is a whole sermon, so um, y'all just be patient with me as I withdraw myself from each point. Amen, and go to the next one. (laughs) Psalms 33, 8 through 9 says, New King James, Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke. And it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. The reason I said stop playing with the Lord is because, I don't know, just over the years, probably, um, I guess about last year, like two, two years ago, I had somebody working with me and I was telling them about Jesus, and every, you know, and I was like, man, you know, the Lord started moving on me to talk to him. And I said, man, you know, get it right. The Lord ready for you. He's like, yeah, I know. I got out of program, but he got back in the street, started using again. And I said, man, it's time. It's time. It's time. Well, he was supposed to come to work the next morning, but he didn't make it. And the reason he didn't make it is because he OD'd. Yeah. I, um, it was another guy who died this year that worked with me. Y'all didn't. He never, he never came to the church. Um, but it was two days he worked with me. And, oh, Jesus. I, you know, I, I don't know if y'all know, but some, last year I went on a break in December. I, and the Lord asked me, do you want to win souls or do you want to make money? I said, Lord, I want to do both of them. <laughs> you know, and I found out that it don't necessarily work out too well when it's time to get some work done. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm too busy preaching and casting out devils and laying hands on folks in the yard and stuff. And I'm do too, I, I don't get it done. You know, I don't get work done. I'm glad I got another crew because I ain't getting nothing done. A couple, about a month ago, I remember, you know, I was focusing on the Lord and I was consecrating myself to the Lord and staying away from stuff. And I looked over at the guy who was helping me and I said, you know, Jesus loves you like that. And uh, do start crying. And he couldn't stop crying. He was tripping about how he couldn't stop crying. And I said, man, Jesus love you. He wants you to surrender your everything. He was like, what in the, I can't stop crying. And I said, that's Jesus loves, man. He just wants you to surrender to him. Stop fighting. You try to be hard. Go ahead and let that stuff out, boy. Go on ahead and cry. Lay, lay, lay yourself down. Amen. Well, the one before that, I was telling you I spent two days with him. Well, he ended up, you know, I had to go to his funeral. We had to do a funeral for him. He, um, he ended up running from the police and swallowing drugs. He ended up dying. And um, I, I, look, I look at rappers and people who represent God. In they, to me, in they sin, and they mixing them. You know, they, it is good that you're representing God and you're stepping out. But when I hear one dude who, I ain't going to say his name, who was, he, he is just beautifully talented about God, right? And he's singing, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. They shot him down on the highway two weeks later. And I said, you know, when I hear things like that, and I, death always supposed to sober us up, right? It's supposed to be a, listen, this ain't a game. It's supposed to be a reverential fear come upon you about how you doing, what you doing with your life. Stop playing. And I be begging folks, get it right. Come on, man. And the reason I'm begging them, because I know that it could be, tomorrow might not be promised for them. I done seen too many die that came in these services and started living. We just had one six months ago, what is it, four months ago, who was coming a month. Justin died, woke up. They, they, he just didn't wake up. He just didn't wake up. But he started coming. And Brother Pastor Nate was taking him, Brother Nate back there was taking him through mentorship. 
And he was starting to get on the calls. And he was starting to get involved in the church. Now, that one I got hope for because I seen his behavior change. I seen the joy come on his face. Every when I talked to him, he's like, man, I'm excited, Pastor. I'm excited. I said, good, Justin, keep coming. Keep doing it. And they don't know how, they don't know, they didn't tell me what happened, but he just didn't wake up the next morning. And we plan with our lives as if it's Russian roulette. We plan with God. And we need to fear and reverence him. We've been around church so long, we think we got another chance, we think we got another day, and God wants you to repent today and do what he say. He wants you to do what he say now. Stop playing with him. Why am I like that? Because I've seen somebody be before me one day and they gone tomorrow. And you could be one of them. So I'd rather you not like me for saying that and you repent. Because it's more dangerous for me not to say nothing, placate with you like this is a game. It's more dangerous for me not to say it like this. Because I've seen them go, man. It's not a game. This is what we need. We need fear. And when I heard that dude got shot on the, I said, Lord, guess what it caused me to do? Lord, help me. Stay, stay, help me stay real with you, Lord. I don't, I don't want to be playing with you, Lord. I, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't do that right. I didn't say that right. I didn't do that right. I didn't say that right. I need you, Lord Jesus. Teach me, Lord God. Who, Jesus. That's fear. It's good fear. It's good for you. It causes you to avoid danger. That's good fear. Amen.